Yo, dudes, this is Everybody's Podcast. I'm Kristen, that's Chad, that's Brad, that's Cody, and we're finally back at it with Everybody's Movies. This week, I chose Oh Brother, Where Art Thou? Right? <laughs> oh, boy. The best She's movie like, ever. Like, give, it, give it a standing yes. ovation. I want to, like, collapse for this. So, <laughs> so excited. Cody. Oh, wow. It's wow. definitely the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so, Brother, Where Art Thou? Um, it Cody. released. De- okay. Go ahead. It released December twenty second, two thousand. <laughs> so, side note: I thought this movie was much older than what it was. Like, I thought it was an eighties. Are you good over there? You thought this I movie? Oh, Just keep going. I thought it was like an eighties movie. It takes place in the thirties, but I thought it was like eighties. But it came out in two thousand. How- yeah, but if that came out in the eighties, that no, looks really good for an eighties movie. Yeah, yeah, especially like all the set pieces having to be set in the. 30s. I mean, even even the My the bad. quality of <laughs> the film. Is I really flood. thought it was eighties. It's, it's not fuzzy. Okay, like they wouldn't have been able to make that flood in the eighties without just killing people. Okay, I, I, thought <laughs> I watched it when I was little, so I was like, okay. But the directors are Ethan and Joel Cohen. It's funny. You were worried about the last name Joel. and you just fucked up the first <laughs> name. <laughs> the budget was $26 million and the box office was $72 million, So they, oh, shit. Wow. they made out. It's oh, the people best love movie. the Cohen brothers, man. Um, So the actors are George. I only know three actors out of all the actors that are in it's it. It's the main, the main character. George Clooney. No, John Goodman no, from Roseanne. Goodman. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. And then um, John, what's his name? Turturro. Yeah, and I didn't know until I talked to Brad about it. He was on anger management. The that's the guy only, in the big. Yeah, 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 yeah that's the only. He played on Jesus. the big, the big Lebowski. Dude. Yeah, Nobody Jesus. fucks with Jesus. Nobody fucks. I've with never the seen. Jesus. You've never. Oh my goodness. Mm-mm. That's another okay. one we're gonna have to hit. Yeah. Okay, but it takes place in the 30s, <clears throat> and George Clooney's character Everett scams his way off the chain gang with Delmer P. By like lying and saying there's gonna be like treasure that they're going for but really he just wants to stop his wife from marrying someone else but they like make a dope song in the process which i didn't Total. find out what the movie was about until he got to where his daughters were singing <laughs> Total. i was like no in the beginning have i not because everything was just so all over there's the place so kinda. much that happens throughout yeah. like you kind of lose the storyline but then it like all comes to place at the end yeah i kind of wrote that down like they they go really they try really hard not to have any exposition in the movie like to not just outright explain to you what's going on yeah, they yeah. kind of they kind of throw it in here and there in like small chunks but for the most part they just don't really talk about what the movie's about it's just these guys that are clearly on a mission they bring up the treasure a lot but yeah. and you like you know they they try to they kind of want you to figure out what's going on rather than just explaining to you what's going on I which is cool fucking love it so I know it's funny to talk about the Joel thing. That's Kaylin's middle name, and it's spelled the same exact way. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> you still fucked it up. <laughs> fucked it up like, Joel is a girl's name. You're not even high right now, no. dude. I wish, though. Jeez. That's fucking hilarious, though. <laughs> but, yeah. So, first watch. This was my first I watch. Know. I've never seen it before. Seen it. I thought it was a spectacular movie. I'm glad you it, liked it. I wasn't sure. I, I did, I I did enjoy it. It like it was like I said. It was so weird and random and all over the place. But like I didn't figure out what was going on until like towards the end of the movie. I felt like but you didn't watch it all together either. You watched the beginning and then you like stopped. And yeah, that's again. true. And I may have missed parts like you know taking Leo yeah. to the bathroom or cooking him food or something but it was a really it was a really cool movie i really i did enjoy it yeah but what the so you first watched it in school chad yeah 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 so it watching it the first time it was it wasn't school so after i watched them after i rewatched the movie it made me go oh it was mythology class in high school that i watched that movie because it's yeah because it syncs up mm-hmm. and i didn't realize that until my rewatch because i was like man why did we watch this movie in high school and then we get we got like the old man on the rail car and then we got to the the singing sirens and i was like oh yeah the john goodman's the yeah, Cyclops. yeah 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 yep and i was like the, mythology is where i watched that yeah. movie 
I liked it back then. My rewatch, um, I didn't necessarily like it, but I didn't dislike it. Man. If, uh, I mean, I wouldn't go back and watch it. That's that. I know. I know. It hurts. It hurts the guys. But I remember the first when I watched it in school. I was like, "Oh yeah, this is pretty awesome." But like I said, yeah. my rewatch was kind of like, eh. like an it. eh movie. The thing about it is, like, and this I noticed this more on my this rewatch. Like, it does. It feels more like a movie for for kids than it is for adults. Even though it has a lot of adult themes, it yeah. just feels like. It's it's really childish. Like a lot of the humor is yeah. very childish. It is, but it's funny though. Like but I enjoyed for, it. But for like the time that it was in, maybe that childish humor, maybe that's what the humor was in the for 30s. adults. I, yeah, I kind of agree. Because like we we evolved, dude. We're yeah. just way more offensive now. <laughs> no, you not really. Mean, not. I mean, they were way more racist back then. Clearly, but. Yeah. I like, I enjoy watching movies set in old times like that because I always just think, man, just to see how it was back in the yeah, day. Yeah, people bitch about certain things nowadays. It's like you would never survive back Dude, then. Dude, it's not even that long ago. Like even in the 90s there was some pretty offensive shit that happened or that was trending or just just looked at it's funny. Yeah, not looked a big at it's deal. funny. Well, that's that's a talk for another time. <laughs> <laughs> I like in there they had like the kids sitting on books instead of like a chair. Oh or yeah, and shit yeah. like that. Like things were definitely harder, obviously. But I chose this movie because I watched it with my dad a lot. I mean, the kid was driving a car. Yeah, that's yeah, what I was seeing. Yeah, <laughs> he, was he wasn't just car. sitting on books. <laughs> I was yeah. trying to think if there was another scene where a kid was just sitting on yeah, books. Yeah, me too. When they're at the something. table eating. See, something, oh, like, okay. Okay. That's yeah, what okay. something like that never makes sense to me. Because if he's sitting on the books, then he can't reach the pedals. Well, but he had just... a block on the pedals. Yeah, oh, did he? Oh, okay, foot. okay. Yeah. Smart kid. But I, I chose this movie because it's like... My dad's favorite movie, and we watched it a lot together when I was little, and I still rewatch it all the time. So this is one of the movies from your childhood then that yeah. you've rewatched over and over and over again. Oh, and I love the but song. But what year in did it. it come out? Two thousand. I literally. Oh, so thought I mean, it, was it like, is kind of old. I literally thought it was older. Twenty-two years old. That's yeah. yeah. We were in that's like pretty fifth, long time. We were in like fifth grade or something. Yeah. I was like in kindergarten. Wow. Yeah. Did you watch it that young? I don't think so. I mean, like Cody said, it's kind of seems like a childish movie. For for 2000, 2000 that kind of humor, humor is was, childish. My sure. dad's humor is, childish, humor is childish, so <laughs> I see why he likes it. Like, I mean, I like some childish humor. Like, I think that dad most jokes people are probably very do. Childish. Farts are still funny. I don't know, but I love it. But what's like a favorite, <laughs> what's a favorite scene, though? Because mine, I love the bank robbing scene. Yeah, with Babyface. Yeah. Is it Babyface Nelson, I think his yeah. name is. Yeah. And then he gets mad when that old lady's like, is that Babyface or yeah. whatever? And then he like freaks <laughs> yeah. the fuck out. And he starts crying, yeah. doesn't he? Yeah. 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 And he it, goes up to her. He was a real person. Babyface Nelson. Really? That was one thing I liked about this movie. They kind of like blended in uh, real life American historical figures with uh, the the Odyssey, Homer's Odyssey. And I, yeah. I think that's really cool. Because like the, um, one of the governors, the... The one who wins in the end yeah. is also based on a real person. Is he really that much of an asshole in real life, probably? I mean, aren't most political leaders assholes? Uh, yeah. Facts. I mean, I didn't think he was that much of an asshole in the movie. He was kinda a was. dick to his, his secretary dudes, maybe. Yeah. That's what I, mean. they kinda, I feel like they kind of portray him as like like slovenly, I think is the word. Yeah. Because like, they're, all, they're all, him and all of his associates are all like overweight and yeah. they're all kind of just... They just, they just always seems like they're just always being lazy. Yeah. They're just sitting in their, like, exp expensive house. Like, uh, the yard, the porch of their expensive house, big expensive house, just talking about bullshit that, like, basically just talking about poor people. Yeah. Yeah. And <laughs> just like, looking. Just, they just look like. Calling people fat crackers. Cats. That's, like, the definition of fat cats yeah, right yeah. there, you know? Calling people crackers. Yeah. I liked, uh, I really enjoyed the studio scene because that song. <gasps> I wrote that said, down too. That That's song my favorite. is awesome. I love that. Song. So I, I love the blind guy. I love. I absolutely love that radio guy. He's. I think he's I, fucking hilarious. I didn't realize he played in that movie. As soon as I saw him, I was like, he's I can't a blind remember the guy actor's name. And but. Get out. Yeah, it's same guy. He he also plays a blind guy in uh, 
Ah. Uh. He makes a really great blind face. He's the guy that plays Isn't an he, office space, right? Doesn't he right? play a blind guy in, like, My is Name is office Earl? space? He might be. Maybe maybe it's not. What did you say? I, I, he, he, that same guy. Doesn't he play a blind guy in My Name is Earl or something? He might. Maybe it's maybe it's not My Name is Earl. There was, it was a TV show that I seen that guy in, and he played a blind played guy. Played in Dodgeball. But I can't. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. It's funny because he can see. Yeah. But he's yeah. always a blind. I think he just has good he's blind where, face. He's he's like <laughs> like the, he, he the, like the way he does his eyes. It just uh, I laugh so hard when he's in the studio. Like Ehh. yeah <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that that, that great. the song though. What the hell's the name of the song? Man of constant know? sorrow. So I don't I don't necessarily like that genre of music, but that song is pretty dope. Yeah. Right. I that's what say. I. That's exactly what I thought. Like that as song. Soon as, I list, as soon as. I mean, it was. The, I liked it from when I like when they did it in the studio. I'm like, this is kind of catchy. The guitar, is, the guitar, and the vocal melody is the same thing, all the way through the song. Well, that's that but kind of that kind of music. That's how, how it, it usually was. is. Yeah. Like, it's then. more about the the lyrics and like the yeah. story. They're telling a story, you know. It's a, a storytelling genre of music. That's I like all the music in this movie. Yes, like There's, when the the grave diggers are singing, and I just but I think it all fits in really well. The prisoners yeah, with the very is. beginning of the movie, it just it all fits the movie so the, perfectly. The singing with the girls, the sirens. Yeah, yeah. That that kind of annoyed me a little bit. The one that Go annoyed to <laughs> little baby. The one yes. that annoyed me Shut up. was I didn't like <laughs> I didn't like the little girls singing on the stage. I thought that was annoying. Well, but that, like, yeah. in real life, that would be annoying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so oh, yeah. Like, I'd be like, shut the fuck up. No, I like also the baptism part when they're, like, they are, like, He just of walks them. out there in front oh, of the whole yeah. line. And they think they're just good. <laughs> Don't, do, both of them get baptized, right? Yeah, yeah. just yeah. not George Clooney, yeah. Yeah. That was... In, I'm, I'm forgiven for... <laughs> That's yeah. that was something the I noticed movies. in this movie about like this and on this <clears throat> watch that I probably wouldn't have noticed the first time I watched it was just the it's it's kind of like a show of like the other two those two guys are kind of looking for redemption Pete and uh, Delmar yeah and George Clooney doesn't really give a shit wait like he doesn't really care to change who he is or yeah. become a better person yeah or about <laughs> you know Pete and Delmar they kind of seem to want forgiveness of some sort and, yeah. the, and george clooney also doesn't have faith like he doesn't believe yeah, in god he expresses that a lot yeah which is i thought was it's probably really was really rare in the 30s oh there yeah there wasn't very many people who were outright atheists in the 30s yeah but because I, he probably got burned at the stake right <laughs> yeah not in the 30s not in the, oh, that's a fucking 1600 chad <laughs> whatever dude. but people still like unfair. if you're anything besides christian they hate you yeah probably, still to this day but when, when did you first watch it i don't think we even asked you you just like i was all, i couldn't even tell you when it probably wasn't long after it came out have you rewatched it more than once oh yeah it's yeah. probably like the third or fourth time i've watched it because i do like the movie it's like I, my 10th time watching i it. still i still think it's a great movie from watching the movie since you were a child 10 times is really not that much no but anytime it's true more frequently lately because now that i have like youtube tv it's on tv a lot yeah like on tnt and shit and i watch it a lot that's one Wait, of those. Wait, you have TNT? Mm -hmm. YouTube TV, you get like a bunch All of All the shit, channels, dude. including But sports. isn't it like 60 bucks a month? With sports, it's 80. That's fucking dumb. Yeah, Steve, but... Is the UFC I on there? No. The UFC is only on ESPN. Yeah. Oh, it's a, that's a contract. But I get to yeah. watch WWE Raw, Monday Night Raw. I just wait a you month. You get SmackDown too then, mm -hmm. right? I just wait a month and then watch it on the network. Or Peacock. Peacock. Yeah, but great movie what um is, does anybody have any quotes because i wrote a couple down i don't have any quotes you know and that I, was a pretty quote filled movie good quote filled movie i suck with quotes like i never like the, only the movie entire I can quote is stepbrothers the entire scenes with john goodman's character all of that was just good quotes or the guy on the train like what he says in the beginning i don't remember what i have like, no name yeah, I work yeah. for no man. But my, my favorite quote is in the movie theater, where uh, Delmar is like, "We thought you was <laughs> a toad." <laughs> <laughs> that, I, I, everything involving the toad just makes me laugh. See, isn't that Even another he, thing from mythology? Is it if you give in? To, I thought it was they killed you or something. Like if you give in to the temptation. I don't know what they're supposed to do because in in. The Odyssey, 
all of his all of Odysseus's crew members cover their ears and they sail past, but they tie Odysseus to the mast of the ship so he can hear it. So you don't really know what they do. You can kind of assume oh, that they God. just kill you. Yeah, but see, they, that's what I thought. He's the, the whole only time. one who hears it. His crew just sails by. I kind of want to read this book. It's a poem. A poem? Yeah, yeah. like a six hundred page dude. poem. I don't remember. I read it in school. <laughs> I read it in school, but I don't really remember. I must not have paid that close attention because yeah. I want to compare it a lot to this because I know it's significant, but I don't. And I ain't about to read it. So I thought there was like a length limit to poems. Like a haiku. No, you can yeah. do five whatever. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. I really. made awesome haikus in school, just so we all know. Six hundred page poem. Yeah, it's just a, a six hundred page book that rhymes a lot. Cat in the Hat is like a fifty page book. Cat in the Hat's like that long? No, it's like no. probably twenty. I was gonna dude, say it's probably no like six. No, it's more than no, it's six. more than six, dude. They made a whole movie on yeah. it. You can't make a movie off from a six page book. So Unless you made, right made totally, shit up. You totally could. I mean, you might be able to. But I got one more quote. Okay. It, was, um, it was early on after they, uh, when they have, the, he has the gopher and he offers a gopher to Everett. And he mm. goes, no, no, Delmar, I think a third of a gopher is only going to make me more hungry or something like that. And Delmar goes, oh, me. He, okay. He said, me and Pete already had one. We came across a whole gopher village. <laughs> <laughs> and just, I, I just thought that was really funny. I love when they're trying to get on the train and then they fall. Yeah, that's like right away. <laughs> yeah, like, because does, it pulls Everett right out. Yeah, yeah. He, <laughs> just keeps t he just keeps talking. Um, he never stops talking throughout the whole movie. What, what other... he's, guys, he's such an arrogant character. Like he, yeah. he talks down to everybody in yeah. that movie. I yep. feel like Clooney's character in that movie is... Kind of like his same character in a bunch of other movies of his. Like a typecast kind of guy. Because he kind of acts like that in, like, uh, what is it, From Dusk to Dawn? He kind of acts like that yeah. in a way. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he's definitely supposed to be, like, the smart guy in that in that movie. Um, What other movies has the guy that played Delbert, or, um, what, is that his name? Delmar. Delmar. Holes. That's, that's the only one I can think of that you might actually know. What was his character in Holes? One of the Didn't they call him Mom. You liked Holes. Oh my God! Is that what they called him, Mom? I forgot he was on that. Yeah. yeah. Tim Blake Nelson is his name. He's actually he's the only one of them that actually sings "A Man of Constant Sorrow." Really? Yeah, and he's I got another he, he's got another song in uh, "Oh Brother Where Art Thou" too. I recognized his voice when I heard it, but I couldn't tell you where it was or when it was. Now was that song made specifically for that movie? I think or, so. Okay. Pretty sure. Who is the, who is the actual like composer and vocalist and stuff? Do you know? Does anybody know? I can look it up. Yeah, I just wanted to believe it was George Clooney. Nah, he doesn't actually. <laughs> sing. <laughs> so I mean, I was, I was just... for real though, George Clooney is a good actor in that movie. Uh, amazing. Yeah. Wait, is George, George Clooney's in Fury, right? With Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. No. No, that's Brad, Brad Pitt. Pitt. I get them confused sometimes. How do you get? They look totally different. I have different. no idea, but I do it. Okay. Never mind. But anyways, Holes, great movie. Love Shia LaBeouf. I just pick that movie next. Just kidding. Did you read the book? I don't read. We I go think through I this read a the lot. Book There's audio six, books. Six, six, Did no, you I don't want to do that either. <laughs> what? I think I read that book in sixth grade. Yeah, we watched the movie too. So no, yeah, it, was, it's, it has it was, to have been made for the movie. Because <coughs> it says the artist is just the Soggy Bottom Boys. But oh. the person who wrote it and performed its name is Dan... Tominsky. Wow, good good job, dude. Good job. I don't think I could ever write a song that sounds like that. Maybe yeah. I mean I I I couldn't. Cut, I'm well, going to guys don't care about yeah, country music. Like, <laughs> yeah. We don't have any influence in that style of music, yeah. so it'd be super hard to write a song like that. When I lived up at Sunfish, my dad has a friend that was a seasonal up there, and he would just sit on his porch and listen cuz he's like pretty old. He might be from like the 40s, 30s, and he would listen to that music all the time really loud. And I loved, I like that. Like, it's just chill. It it's reminds like a good you, vibe up there. It reminds you of old, old days. I guess. Simply no, it's definitely it's vibing simpler. music. If so, I knew, if I knew more artists that did that type of music, I might give it a go. Because like country music, you said, that kind of stuff 
isn't that bad. I like old that country. kind of music. Yeah. I, the new country music is just old rock. Well, every all the country all, pop. all the country from like the 90s and on to me sucks. I don't like any of that. I literally downloaded so much country that I got really high like a month ago and I just like went in this rabbit hole. And you were country. probably like, this is the best playlist, guys. This is no, the best I didn't, playlist. I didn't brag about this one. Because he knew that nobody was going to listen to a country music playlist. <laughs> yeah, but like I love Shania Twain so much. But she was more like poppy when she was popular. Yeah. Like, she, yeah, but that's the thing. That's what. I, that's like what we were just saying. Yeah, that's, that that's the country kinda, music now is just yeah, poppy. Yeah, Shania Twain's like her own. But there was like, is I forget she forget their name. <laughs> Like, she is kind of. Well, yeah, she's okay. different than most, I feel. I don't know, but anyways. I forget the names of the dudes, but I just like found songs through Spotify, like you know how they recommend. Yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, oh my god. I'm Maybe that's song. what I should do. I should that's just, how I built that's all what of my I do. Yeah. That's what to find more artists like that. That's, that's what probably I do. what I'll have to do. I'm pretty sure that song Man of Constant Sorrow is on Spotify. It is. That's how I got it. Oh, okay, okay. So I'm just going to go to that song and look at the recommended and shit. So we find out how Everett got sent to jail. He was practicing law without a license. Mm -hmm. We find out how Delmar went to jail. He robbed the Piggly Wiggly. Did anybody hear how Pete went to jail? Piggly Wiggly. No, I just know. Because I tried. When... I listened real hard to try and figure out how he went to jail, and I didn't hear him say it at all. The I only, only knew how Everett did. The only thing I remember is when he was saying he only had two weeks left when he, yeah, Clooney yeah. was telling him about n there not being a treasure and stuff. Yeah, I don't think he. That was a super dick move, huh? Yeah, that's like the that's such a fucked up thing to like, do. Break out of prison, and then realize there's no treasure, and now you're like, well, if I go back to prison, I'll be there for a really long time. But He's at the same like time, if you're the... Pete, you got to be like, I only got two weeks to get the fuck out of here, man. Why don't you just? Wait. Tell me where it is, and I'll go get it for you. After. Because yeah. they, don't, they don't actually talk about the other guy's sentences either, how much longer they yeah, have. No. You, you, all you hear is that Pete was about to get out, and you hear what the other two... I mean, maybe they said what Pete did, and I just I missed it. I don't remember. But I try. I was trying to hear it. I was like, I want to know, like, because I, I was just writing it down just, just as a reference, it. and I couldn't find it. Fuck Google. It probably won't tell you, Fuck. dude. Why? I can't remember. I, I probably Did tried to Pete look it up, but I can't remember. To... Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was uh, kind of interesting that they didn't, if they didn't say that. So, at the end, when the sheriff dude comes, mm -hmm. how come he just, like, is going to go kill him even though they were pardoned and whatnot? Because well, they don't care about law? He's supposed to represent Poseidon. Yeah. And Poseidon had a vendetta against Odysseus. But they don't, they don't really give the sheriff the same vendetta. But he had... Poseidon just wanted Odysseus to fail. So that's I think that that's just kind of it. Like he just is it's it's more of a because it's such like an old story, it's kind of structured like that. He's more just supposed to be the bad guy regardless of like intentions or anything. He's just he's just the bad guy cuz he doesn't you don't see him very often. No. He doesn't say barely anything. He's kind of just like this and he's got the sunglasses on, and he doesn't really. He's he's almost like a blank face. Yeah, like, no put, facial put expressions. Put enemy here, you know, like put bad guy here, kind of thing. So I, I mean, feel like even, that's kind of all. Even though I didn't see him that much, I was like, man, this guy's a fucking dick. Yeah, and, <laughs> it, like he, that, and that's why I feel like he just doesn't. That's why he does. Basically, says he doesn't care if you're pardoned. We're gonna hang you anyway. Yeah. Like, because that's just the t that's just who he's supposed to be, you know? Did you find something? And I felt like, so at that e at the end of it, with no. the with the flood, because I was talking earlier about uh, how Where? Everett doesn't have faith, he doesn't believe in God. I feel like, because see, they see the cow on the, on the roof of the house, I feel like that's kind of a representation of him denying his faith, rather than him not having it. Because he's the only one that sees it. Because that was what um the guy at the beginning yeah. predicted. Said, he said, you're going to see a cow on and, a roof. And Everett kind of at that moment, <clears throat> oh shit! when Pete and Delmar talk to him about it, uh, he's he kind of brushes it off as just him just being kind of a crazy old man. Yeah. And then at the end when he sees the cow on the roof, I feel like that's kind of him like... 
it's it's kind of him realize like realizing there's a god, but then right away the next scene he kind of just still brushes off yep. fa his faith. Yeah. So he doesn't change the way that he lives, but I think at the end he realizes that there is a god and he kind of has faith, like this kind of faith that he's denying. Right. Which Where that, did the water come from? Well, they they it's... flooded the valley. That was one of the things. That's probably one of the things that they did. They only spoke about like one time, real subtly. That was why they had to break out when they broke out because, uh, they the valley was going to get flooded and they were going to the treasure was going to be lost under a giant lake. Oh. That was why they were in a hurry through the whole movie because they had, they wanted to get there before it flooded. Um, it just says Pete is a mysterious criminal with with strong convictions and big outbursts of anger. That's stupid. So he's not. <laughs> Yeah, so it just doesn't say mm -hmm. what he actually did. But who is he in the Odyssey? Like, what does he... What I looked up, it just said that him, like, Delmar and Pete just represent the crew. Yeah. It doesn't, they don't have any specific character that they represent, just Odysseus's men. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I didn't do anything cool. Rotten Tomatoes. Let's guess some... All right. Okay, so critics. Critics. I'm gonna say... 90. Okay. I'll go with like 92. I'll say 87. It was 78. Ooh, really? Yeah, wow. I'm surprised it's that low. Yeah, I thought this real. movie was more popular. Yeah, I thought it was. Even though, was even though I movie. probably wouldn't rewatch it. I would, Pretty I good would. movie. Yeah, I That's really why I gave it a like 90. It, but... And people just love the Cohen brothers in general like it's you know I mean yeah. I guess I should say nobody talks to the people did not like the lady killers or the HUD sucker proxy but I thought people really liked this movie I thought critics did anyway all right all right audience audience okay audience so, is usually lower yeah but I feel like this one it might be yeah, high because yeah. I, I, re I really enjoyed the movie I'm so. gonna say like 88 specific 85 I just want to go right in the middle of you guys. <laughs> I'm going to go lower. Uh, 82. 89. Whoa. Chadwick. Oh, <laughs> nice. Oh, okay. See, I figured the audience would like this movie. I mean, I'm audience and I liked it. Yeah. So, <laughs> don't watch Rent or Buy. Oh, my opinion, and I'm going to say Rent it. Definitely watch that shit, but I wouldn't buy it. I would buy it because I I enjoyed the movie. I would I buy I'd it. I'd probably the watch it again. Fuck out of it. I'm surprised I haven't bought it. You said on the last podcast that it was your favorite movie. It you is. don't have to buy it if it's free. That's facts. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? It's on Amazon Prime. It's just I mean, free. that's not really free. Yeah, you're right. Okay, you're right. You're right. Pay monthly. I, I just you. realized how like out of date this whole rent buy <laughs> <laughs> yeah. thing is. Stream it like, or don't is, stream yeah. it. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. Yeah, that's like the only two options that we have for movies now: stream or don't stream. Would you like go out of your way to stream this, or would you just? <laughs> if you saw this across your stream, would you stream it? I wouldn't stream it. You're an asshole. I mean, I did stream it, but <laughs> I, I won't. Say, I would you already <laughs> would stream. Well, Kristen made you. Yeah, <laughs> I would stream. You wouldn't willingly times. do it. I wouldn't have willingly done it. No. Okay. Next time you come over, I'm gonna play that movie. I mean, we're just we probably sit won't be sitting. I mean, I'll just look at my phone. I'll play it. <laughs> <laughs> it's still gonna be in the background. I'll turn it up like really Pay loud. Attention to crypto. And I'll be like, this yeah. is a really good scene, dude. It'll be so loud. I mean, I had. No, the, the studio the studio the studio scene and then the, uh -huh. the end the end in the barn or wherever the fuck it was i just love where they were performing on stage wait 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 a quote that i do love because i laugh every time when they're in the barn like in the beginning like they're sleeping and he yells at them what does he say we're in a tight we're spot. We're in a tight spot. Dude, that he shit was like hilarious because he <laughs> kept repeating it. Dude, <laughs> oh, I no. died so fucking much. All right, that was, pre another, that was pretty Another one too. is, I'm a dapper Dan man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's so funny. I love that. Yeah, I totally scene. forgot about that barn scene. <laughs> that, that shit was pretty funny. And speaking of, like, I wrote this down, and speaking of the, uh, the bank scene that you said was your favorite. I love it. Nobody at all reacts when he runs in and shoots a gun. Yeah. Like, yeah. he runs in and shoots a gun yeah, in the air. Like, Everybody like just looks common. at him. Whoa. Wait. Or, like, like because he got mad about the name. Maybe they all know he's not going to do anything. Yeah, they know who yeah. he is. Um, he had no problem shooting those cows. Look, 
least favorite scene when i was little i cried at that the first time when he just shoots the cows because it looks realistic as fuck and then runs over one I it's that funny, was funny that you cried at that one. I laughed at it I when bawled. I was little. You know what scene made me really sad? And I even wrote I this down it. when I was when I was young. When he kills the, the toad. toad, I probably cried at that too. Even though like you don't, even though like you deep down you know that that toad isn't Pete. Yeah, you're. I still am just like, oh, he killed the toad. <laughs> Why do you do that? Yeah, <laughs> like literally just. A huge it's just asshole. to be a dick. Yeah. Yo, that's another thing about uh, thinking was... the movie was an '80s movie. That cow scene wouldn't have looked as good as. Okay, it was. guys, I was little when I first watched <laughs> it. Okay, so in my mind, I'm like, this looks old because it takes place I in the '30s. It's an old movie. I didn't think John Goodman was gonna turn on him like that me either he, i like, thought it was gonna be like a serious venture or some but shit but if you know the odyssey and then he just fucked him up if you knew the like yeah, yeah he I, just outright beats the fucking shit yeah. out of him. he like eats he's like all right guys yeah thank like you george clooney's <laughs> character what the hell's his name everett everett when yeah. like goodman smacks the shit out of the one guy and he's like he just sits there like what are you doing yeah he doesn't like, do he anything doesn't about do it anything. he just waits for money. him he just waits for him to just fucking Slap him across the face with a piece of wood. Yeah, he's like, yo, like if I seen eating? somebody hit my friend, I'd probably get up and be like, ah, don't but. hit me. <laughs> See, I want. I feel like that may have something to do with the Odyssey. I don't remember. I don't. I. I don't really remember much of the uh, Cyclops part in Odyssey. So I'm wondering if that had something to do with it. Because like maybe like I feel like maybe the Cyclops like poisoned them, and that's why he didn't oh. react. Because he was probably like high or something like that. I could be so wrong on that because it's been since high school since I read that yeah. fucking poem. But I think that might have had something to do with why he didn't react the way you'd expect him to react. As this guy's beating the shit out of his friend, you know, he just keeps eating. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's like, all right, and then gets fucking wailed over the head, and then money taken out of his pocket. It's like what? Very unfortunate. Yeah. And they were they were super pumped. I mean, I know the movie's old as shit, and, like, what was it? They got paid $13 a piece for the studio thing, and they were so pumped about it. Yeah, considering $13 gets you nowhere now. Yeah. I think $13 was a lot of money back then. Like, yeah. I mean, you it could had... buy, like, a loaf of bread for a dime back then, you know? Yeah. I love how, like, Everett's talking to his wife, like, on stage, like, while... Her like future man or whatever current man is like right next to her. Now yeah. that wasn't that fighting scene hilarious. Yes, yes, yes that was absolutely. Uh, I didn't think he was. Uh, he got his Clooney got his butt kicked. I thought he was gonna take him out. Yeah, I think his character is. He thinks he's great, and then he's like, he's a narcissist. Not. His character yeah. is is a narcissist. He's he a narcissist. would send a girl now pictures like videos of him lifting weights, probably. Yeah, probably. yeah, yeah. That would be that would be his character if it, this movie was made in twenty twenty two. But with <laughs> see that Sorry. kisses his he does up. he does got the the dabber Dan and he's going he's going stuff. one thousand one one thousand two. You see that I'm doing a thousand. I'm on a thousand three <laughs> with the hair slicked back. Yeah. <laughs> Really, really concerned about what Jelly uses in his hair. Yeah, say if it was the '90s, maybe, his hair would be all. Gelled. Maybe Clooney plays those parts so good because he is a narcissist in real life. I mean, or he's a really good actor. <laughs> no, I don't you, know. Normally, you play the maybe part he's that really you're like, good at, at acting like that because he's not acting. Dude, he's for sure a narcissist. All of them are. Yeah. He's been like one of the best That's, fucking like one of the top rated actors in the world for like the past thirty years. Of course he's a yeah. narcissist. That There's was, no way he's not. That's what I was gonna say. <laughs> he's a Hollywood man. Of course he's a narcissist. Brad Pitt's a narcissist. Will Smith is a narcissist. That's what they they're just all narcissists. Bro, so so much has come out after this is another dude with what brother brought out. But with Will Smith and Jada is that her name? Yeah. So fucking dumb. They're both stupid. Yeah. Do you know she like came out and was like, I would have not done that. Like saying that what M Will Smith did for her was stupid. She's like, <laughs> I would, I didn't like, I never would have, I never would have done that. That fucking that's just, on him. The amount of time he went from laughing to now I gotta punch this guy in the face <laughs> yeah. is like it's astronomically small. Like it's literally there's like two seconds between showing him <laughs> laughing to the, that, them showing the stage and he's already on the stage walking towards Chris Rock. Like he literally was just like, "Fuck!" 
and then walked right up there and slapped him in the face. Very good I gotta good do memes. something big to prove myself. Well, so, like, I guess... And he literally was just like, oh, she's mad about that one. Now I gotta do something about it. It wasn't even a good joke. <laughs> yeah, like, if she, if he was kind of like, I could pleasure you with my dick, Jada... It something wasn't like even that. That, that would mad. be yeah, offensive. Yeah, if, if they made if he like made an entanglement joke or something. Yeah. But well, I think that was the thing he because he didn't make that joke, but he did say I could make that joke. He should have. After made he that said joke. the GI Jane joke, he goes he he said the GI Jane joke, and then he goes, "That was a good one." Like that would always say that was a nice one. Yeah. He's basically saying like you know there's other shit I could say that's yeah. way worse than what I just and fucking he still said. Still get slapped. Fucking dumb. And I guess, like, he, like, planned, like, for three years how to do her 30th birthday party. Like, he said this in an interview and with her. And, like, he had, like, a like a video team, like, a documentary team there. Like, had all this shit planned out. And then when it happened, she, like, got mad at him and said that was just to spark his ego. Instead of being thankful for this party, which it probably was a little bit. Rich people are weird. But it's like, it just sucks. She fucking sucks. Yeah. So, uh. Yeah, but yeah, back to. Uh, yeah, oh, back. brother, where are they? <laughs> <laughs> and what, okay, so, you know what I noticed in this movie? And this might just be like a dramatized version of the KKK. But the KKK are just a bunch of dorks. Yeah, yeah dude. Yeah. Like, they're doing like, marching like they're, like, in a synchronized marching band. It's lame. They're all, they call themselves, like, the Grand Wizards and the, the Super Dragons and shit like that. They're just a bunch of fucking nerds. Yeah, I love that scene, though, too, when they're just, like, beat up the dudes to get the outfits and then they, like, run up behind talking to the guy. Like, everyone around you is going to hear you. Yeah. Talk that happens to them. in the movie theater, too. Everybody's oh, quiet yeah. except the three of them. <laughs> But nobody notices that they're talking yeah. to each other. They're they're farther than me and Chad away. Like they're it, they're just <laughs> talking at full value, but pretending that they're whispering, and never, nobody thought, notices. Don't go for the treasure, dude. We thought you was a toad, <laughs> bro. Great movie. They done turned him into a horny toad. It was a good movie. I might go home and watch it. Again, <laughs> I wanted to watch it right before doing this, so I had more memory, but. I mean, you've been watching it since you were a kid. What more do you need? I have really but only bad ten memory. times, dude. She's been yeah, you're right. Weed for a long time. I have really, really, so. really bad memory. Yeah, so cut times. that in half. She's really <laughs> yeah. only watched it five times. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude, you made us watch that fucking zombie movie, and you're like, I've watched this so many times, and this time I hate it. That's because I'm older and wiser now. I know what a fucking. <laughs> He has was, better taste. Oh. Do you like? Did you like? Oh, brother, where art thou? Better than the zombie. Oh film? yeah. Absolutely. Okay, if you would have said no, our friendship. No, no, no. I, w- I would definitely watch this. Mo- where our brother, where art thou? Before Survival of the Dead, Ugh. dude. Survival of the Dead was like a movie <laughs> that you put on just for shits and giggles to laugh at. I mean, I basically did when I rewatched it. Yeah. I mean, I didn't. I didn't know that's what I was getting into, <laughs> but same. I was kind of <laughs> like, oh, a comedy. After. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it had this comedy is in there. funny? <laughs> what, <laughs> Sca- is... Scary? <laughs> Lesbians just finger themselves in front of people? Is this is this porn? My hair just went out. <laughs> <laughs> For real, like it was the. At least, at least, oh brother, no, where art thou? Knows what it is. Yeah, that's very true. When I was they done, had direction for sure. Yeah, when I was done watching Survival, then I'm like, what did Chad make me fucking watch? Yeah. <laughs> Same no here. Part, you know what? Let's just watch it. You know what? Fuck you. We're doing a foreign <laughs> film now. <laughs> <laughs> like, Wait, do you hey. have clues ready for? I had clues ready for both of them. Sick. So pick pick which one you want to do. I am totally okay for what clues. you asked us for. I'm like on board 100. Uh, percent Do we have? Are we giving a score? You want to do that first? Oh, yeah, let's give it a One score. out of five, right? I don't remember. I think that's what we do. It's like five be written stars. on a piece of paper somewhere. We haven't done this in such a long time. Yeah, <laughs> that's why I said I finally back at the it. Is there any, like, what else did we miss on that paper? I feel like we got everything. It just says podcast, oh, out of 100%. Oh, Good job, okay. Chad, with okay. your writing. Okay. I give it 100%. <laughs> of course you do. I'll say 90 it's easily a 90% movie for me. Yeah, I'll go with 90 as well. I'll go with like a 75. Are you fucking kidding me right now? 
Whatever. It's just pretty I'm based, good, though. I'm yeah, basing, cool with that. He gives it a C. Yeah, I'm basically, I'm, I'm putting, it's like, I said I wouldn't go back and watch it, so I'm basing it <laughs> off from that. Like, I thought it was a good movie, but I'm probably not going to rewatch it. So 75 is a decent 75. score. That's yeah, reasonable. That that's, pa- like, that's passing grade. Yeah, it that's is. That's how I got through it math is. in middle that's school. That's just like all my, all my grades <laughs> my, in high school were all of like 75, 80s. Yeah, probably all of ours. I didn't try too hard. I it's didn't enough to all. get by. When? High school? Yeah, like I knew I wasn't going to go to college. So like. I just did my homework and it passed me. Yeah, kind of. Even if my answer was wrong. I sucked at testing quizzes. I did the opposite. I was great at testing quizzes and Same. never did homework. Same. That's how I got C's. Same. Fuck homework, man. When I wasn't there, I didn't want to do that shit. I yeah. was definitely the one right before class get there a little early, like write down some shit just so yeah. like I, I can think you have a in. friend in class that so just give you the answers. I've definitely done that as well. AR, my old friend Delaney, who hates my guts now, but she literally would just she would like get a book. And then let me sit next to her in the library to just cheat off her AR. Nice. I never. That's why I never read, dude. I did. I, a kid, I did a kid's homework for a dollar a question. Bro, that's somebody smart. did my homework for money. That's nice. it. Yo, Michael Seely. You know the. Uh, <laughs> I you did. Know, and I assume he just plagiarized it off the internet. <laughs> I you did remember, sweet will. You remember the uh, uh, study island shit? We never did yes. it, but after. I want to say it was out. a couple of years after we graduated. Jerry used to do people's study islands for money. <laughs> what the hell is that? It's basically, you know how we had a senior like exit project or whatever? They had to do study island. I had it's to some both. government indoctrination bullshit. That's, all, that's all you need to worry about. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Troy did both too. But Yeah, like, I had to do when senior I was, project. When I was a senior, we did a senior project. And a senior exit interview. Yeah, we didn't have senior exits. Oh. Yeah. But we never did the study island thing. We I didn't either. Okay, so it should have been right after. It was after it had to be after two thousand nine then, right? You graduated two thousand nine. Yeah. Sick. I had to do it, but I'm like I got Fucking government standardized bullshit. Yeah. Government's always in everything, trying to make you do stuff. I did amazing with PSSAs. Where the fuck the I can't remember. I, I did. I purposely failed one so I could take that one class because everybody told me how easy it was. They had that. Did you guys remember they had that one class that if you failed your PSSAs, you had to take this class that would help help you get better at it. I don't remember that. I don't yeah, either. I I intentionally because it was all computer work and everybody was like, yeah, she lets you listen to music on the computer while you're doing the work. And I was like, oh, that sounds like a great class. <laughs> <laughs> so I intentionally failed it. And then mm-hmm. just so I could get put in that class. He totally failed it. The I teacher, the teacher, that. no, I was like drawing pictures in like the blank spots and stuff. Oh, like they, hilarious. like Mrs. Abreu literally called me into the office and like gave me lectures about how that, how it needs to be taken seriously. Well, yeah, because that like puts your school on like a fucking. Yeah. yeah. I, don't, I don't care though. Yeah. Dude. I, well, to this either, day, I don't but that's care. Why she cares. Oh <laughs> yeah. I get why she cares, but. I would like it if she would understand why I don't care. There was shit in there for like writing and stuff. They tell you like write a mini story and yeah. shit. I'm My so stories good at were that. awful, dude. I'm so good. Man, at I, that. Gave, I gave like three lines. I'm a great, yeah, same, dude. I'm a great writer. Terrible. Like I should do that. But today I went to the bathroom. <laughs> it felt good. Thank you. Scene. Feeling good on Scene. a Wednesday. <laughs> no, but fuck. You could have just wrote where brother were out though. You know. They would have been like, wow, this kid's a genius. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, talk like that, like back in the, yeah. Write the poem. But I'll like write, it, put Everett- write it in my words and like be like, oh, I, I didn't know this existed. <laughs> <laughs> I have the same mind as the Cohen brothers. Whoa. Then they, just they, like- they plagiarized me. Yeah. <laughs> it was my idea. Damn it. It was my idea to rip off Homer. Facts. <laughs> All right, Cody, what are your clues for why you're choosing? You've had time. All right. So my, I said I already had them. My clues are it's the director of Panos Cosmatos' second film, and it's a revenge film on acid starring Nicolas Cage. Wow. Those I, are my clues. See, I don't even I know. I like that second clue. I don't even know what from I'm the intrigued set? about the movie, right? Yeah. No, I'm I think it's set. a good setup for it. Like, if you haven't actually seen the movie – and somebody just tells you that it's like okay and that's kind of like it kind of will get you into the movie of like like okay i understand what's going to happen here 
Because it is like it's an acid trip. I assure you. Okay. Okay, maybe I'm a little interested. <laughs> Just don't expect to understand what's going on. That's what, that's what I'm trying to say. That's Should like I take shrooms and watch this movie? That's okay. And we have. <laughs> yeah, I'm not gonna tell you no. I mean, I, it it might actually be the better way to watch the movie. I mean, I mean if you take, I'm definitely gonna be. High. We can do an experiment. You take shrooms and watch it, and we'll all just watch it. Maybe you'll actually understand what's going oh. on. Like we'll Whoa. start talking about it. He'd be like, No, 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 no. This actually what? is no. a, a comment on capitalism in society. <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't mean, know what movie you chose. I mean, obviously. well, those were just we'll the figure, clues. We'll I know, it but I have no idea. I'm gonna look it up right after podcast, anyway. So, cool. <laughs> I need Sick. to know. I need to know, dude. Those clues don't give me anything. I mean, they give me something to look up. Yeah, and the I know is, Nicolas Cage the plays one, in it. The first one's Nicolas useless Cage. because Panos Cosmatos literally made two movies. Oh, so it's no like it, nobody really knows who Panos Cosmatos is. He's yeah. I'm, Completely lost when you said his name. I'm like that oh, gave me okay. a little hope for what I thought you were gonna pick because I'm like this is a fucking not a name I know. And then why? What did you think? It, what did you think I was gonna pick? I thought we were gonna do Parasite. That's a Korean. You think Panos Cosmatos no, is a Korean? No, I just name? heard it and I'm like that makes no sense. So here's hope. Well, and it's then, foreign, so it's gotta be. Yeah, it's gotta be Korean, right? That's my first thought. I, uh, yeah, I don't even know. I don't yeah, even know I don't. That I movie. wouldn't even know uh, what the hell. That name, what would that name, where's that come from? Is it from? Spanish? I believe so. Yeah. Did you say that was the director? Or it might be Portuguese. I'm not sure. Yeah, he's the director. Okay. Sorry, guys. I'm not smart. Although, you want to know what makes you smart? GeoGuessr. GeoGuessr? That game. You, I told I mean, you. Yeah, yeah, I guess it depends on what you mean by smart. Dude, if you want to just be has good at guessing where I've places. gotten so much smarter like if, if you want to be so really good at geography yeah GeoGuessr is going to get you there and like learning language because you really have to know what language things are to know where you are because it does around the world too right so I've gotten smarter I'm just saying so you're like bilingual now GeoGuessr so you're just guessing it drops you literally randomly in Google Maps Yo quiero... and you get to move like you know, okay wait, wait I need to take advantage of this now that I finally have a have a smart friend can you please explain to me economics no <laughs> so um, damn it drops you it drops you like randomly anywhere on google maps and then you have a little map down here of like where you can click on where you are but you can it's just like you're on google maps and you go like on the roads and they blur out license plates and things that tell you exactly where you are and you have to find like things that aren't blurred and you like just have to like figure out where you are based on where the sun is in the sky what kind of trees Sounds are there stupid. dude it's so much fun doesn't sound like fun at all yeah that doesn't sound like fun. You i'm used to just playing dumb. bingo on my phone you guys are stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I play on my PC. <laughs> cody cody and i will play because we're intelligent i play bingo on my phone shut the fuck up <laughs> <laughs> i just play bingo on my phone <laughs> that's funny well there's like geo guesser like he plays on YouTube, but he's f wizard, I think he calls himself, and he's so fucking smart. He can just, like, see one. He doesn't move. He does one where he just looks around, and then he picks, and he's, like, always almost fucking close. It's amazing. I want to be that good. I'm going to be. It's the same. Want to wrap this up? Yo. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, do at, I have to at, do that? This at. was everybody's podcast. Um, I'm Kristen. I'm trying to think of my IG. Oh, it's CrayJC <laughs> underscore 247. I was wondering like, what was happening What there. is my Instagram? It's CrayJC underscore 247. We have a, a page on IG too called Everybody's Podcasts. I'm Chad. That's it. ChattyDub420 Instagram. ChattyDub4 underscore 20 on Twitter. And ChattyDub420 on TikTok as well. You can find me at Mr. Greenbud. Four underscore Did twenty on Instagram. Up? Yeah, yeah I can't remember. That's what I, was about I can to never remind. I can <laughs> never remember my shit. That's dude. why mine I, are all the same. I have to look yours up every time I put I it in the video. Fucking... I never remember it. I remember these guys, but for some reason yours, because I don't know where the dot is or where the underscore is. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if mine's like four twenty two percent. It's the same as TikTok too. You can find me there. All right, um, I'm at at scruff the pothead on Instagram. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe our videos. Hell yeah. Uh, that's been everybody's podcast. Everybody podcast. See you guys. Peace.